What's going on YouTube? Ryan back from Dopamon again for finally another NHL 20 career sim. This time you can see him up there, Connor McDavid. Now if you haven't seen one of these videos on the channel before, there are a couple on the channel. We've done Alex Ovechkin, Austin Matthews, and Jack Hughes already on the channel. Uh, basically what we're doing here today is we're going to, or I'm going to sit here and simulate the entire career of Connor McDavid and then see you know, where he ends up, how, he, how many points he has at the end of his career, how many cups does he win. What's his what's his contract like after he does he leave ever leave Edmonton so stuff like that and to do that what I've done is basically uh, Turned off every Human controlled feature this game has so we can't edit lines. We can't trade players We can't sign free agents. We can't affect the morale of players on the team we're essentially ownership looking down at you know what's happening and We're gonna let the simulation figure out what's happening day-to-day -day hockey and as well as the offseason if it decides to trade Connor McDavid to the Leafs for Cody CC I can't stop it I'll just you know imagine <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just look at you know from the Oilers because I can't change uh, GM at this point I'll just look you know what he's doing on the Leafs and we'll we'll track him that way so without further ado I'm gonna just jump ahead to the end of this uh, end of this season and see where we are I won't stop every season I'll probably, you know, maybe the first couple, you know, the next two seasons, I'll, I'll see what the what's happening. But then I'll, I'll jump, uh, you know, three or four seasons at a time so this video doesn't turn into three hours long. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you there. All right, we are here at the end of season one, and uh, it did not go very well for the Oilers. Uh, we ended up with a record of 34, 40, and 8. I uh, missed the playoffs by a considerable margin. Although Connor McDavid had a pretty pretty solid year, 36 goals, 70 assists for 106 points. Uh, if he can, you know, consistently you know, put up these kind of numbers, I'd be I'd be pretty happy with that. Drysaddle also with a big year and then a huge drop off after an Injun Hopkins. Uh, Chase on a decent year, but yeah, uh, let's just go to let's go to everyone. I just want to see where he was in relationship. To the rest of the league. Oh, he actually tied <laughs> Nathan McKinnon for uh, points. So I guess we'll have a dual Art Ross. Don't remember the last time that's happened, but that's cool. All right, I just want to check one other thing because we were awful. I wanted to see how our goaltending was because I feel like that's this team's issue in this game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mike Smith, what are you doing, man? Jeez. Holy hell. All right. You split the games evenly. All right. Well, we're not making the playoffs this time around. So what we'll do is we'll we'll go to the beginning of next season. Uh, I'll let you know who won the cup and we'll continue on. All right. We're here just at the start of season two. And as you can see, the Philadelphia Flyers were your 2019-2020 cup champions. They beat the Anaheim Ducks, I believe. Yeah. So that's a that's an interesting, uh, interesting cup final for... NHL 20. I don't even know if Philly is currently even in a playoff spot. I know Anaheim isn't. Uh, individual awards. I saw this. I don't get... Maybe the... I don't know what the game is doing. But we definitely tied McKinnon, right? I guess I can only choose one player. Uh, or maybe there's some sort of tie break that I'm not aware of. But McKinnon is on the Art Ross and we're not. I'm going to consider that, you know, a co-award. I don't know how that works. I'll look that up later. But yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, season one. That's how that worked. Three points is he, his uh, preseason. And yeah, well, apparently we dumped both of our goalies and picked up Linus Olmark and Corey Crawford. So I don't know what happened there. I think Mike Smith was in U uh, UFA. Uh, Koskinen must have been traded. Uh, or maybe he retired and I didn't notice. Um, yeah, so all right, well, we're going to jump ahead. Uh, I'll jump ahead when something interesting happens. I'm not sure if I'll you know, do every season, but uh, maybe a couple seasons from now I'll see. Bye. All right, we're here. This is the end of season two. The Edmonton Oilers have missed the playoff by one point. One point lost the last game of the year, 6-1 to, uh, to the Anaheim Ducks and failed to leapfrog, to leapfrog the San Jose Sharks, finished with a record of 43, 32, and 7. Connor McDavid, another amazing year, 50 goals, 108 points. He keeps ticking along, uh, but, you know, the rest of his... The rest of his crew is not pulling their, are not pulling their weight, it looks like. Um, Nuge with a huge year. What the hell? 105 points for Nugent Hopkins. Um, we'll just go and see and make sure, see if we tied anyone again. 
And Patty Kane beat us by a point. Beat McDavid by one point uh, this year, 108. Nuge actually was third, 105. Uh, that's huge. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll just keep simming until maybe we'll make the friggin' playoffs. Uh, I don't know. I'll see you in a bit. All right, we're here at the end of season three now. Uh, and the Oilers finally made the playoffs. <laughs> Uh, benefiting from a little bit of a weaker division or a, like in more evenly spread out division the Pacific the seventh place Sharks in the Pacific at 84 points and we made we were third of the 92 so you know tight but we're playing the Calgary Flames in the first round of playoffs and that will be something I'm sure and uh, McDavid a little bit of a down year I guess still a point per game 83 points 32 goals and 82 points or 82 uh, full season 82 games and, uh, yeah, I don't know where that was in the grand scheme of things. Also, last season, uh, would we win? Connor McDavid won the heart in season two. Uh, after Patty Kane beat him for the Art Ross and the Maurice Richard. Uh, but we did win the heart. So that's cool. Uh, McKinnon ran away with it, I guess. And, yeah, we're a little bit more down this year, but that's fine. That's fine. We've made the playoffs. A little more. Maybe Connor's playing more defense or something. I don't know. All right. We'll uh, we'll skip to the end of the playoffs. So either they're eliminated or they win the cup. We'll see. Uh, yeah. I'll see you then. All right. We're ending it here. Uh, we actually played the Jets in the first round. There must have been like one last game that made some some guys flip around there. But we won our first round against the Jets, but lost in what looks like one, two, three, four, five, six games. Uh, yeah, six games to the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, had it there for a second. Had it had a two-two, but you know, lost lost uh, four games to two in that series. And, uh, well, look at that Eastern Conference Final. Oh crap! <laughs> Beliefs Boston on the other side, Colorado Anaheim on this side. That's what I want this year. Give me a Boston Toronto Conference Final. I tell you. All right. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll skip ahead. And, uh, yeah, we'll let you know who won the, uh, the cup this year, whether it was uh, Colorado who ousted us, and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, well, again, it's uh, the end of Season 4. I know I said I wasn't going to do every single uh, every single season, but the Edmonton Oilers actually won uh, the division this year. Uh, Connor McDavid, 87 points, uh, 38 goals. But the Oilers, first, 104 points, went 49, 27, and 6. Um, so yeah, wasn't first in the NHL, uh, looks like they were third in the NHL, but, uh, yeah, that's, they're moving up finally after missing the playoffs for a couple of years, they're finally getting their act together, uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll sim along, I just wanted to pass that, that knowledge on, oh, and as well, the playoffs from last year, yeah, yeah, Toronto won the cup, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you in a bit, and yeah, well, the Leafs won the cup again, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> Edmonton Oilers lost in the second round to the Vegas Golden Knights in five games after beating the Nashville Predators in, in, in round one. Uh, yeah, okay, now now we're going to skip ahead. Unless the Oilers win a cup, I will see you. It's the end of season four now. I'll see you at the end of season... We'll go to uh, six. We'll go to the end of season six. Unless they win the cup. Okay, we're actually here at the end of season seven. I went all the way to season seven because of one thing. The end of this season, we're actually at the end of the playoffs now. Philadelphia's won the cup again, as you can see. Is the significance of this summer is that Connor McDavid's contract is ending. So we'll see if he resigns in Edmonton or if he uh, he goes somewhere else. But uh, as far as Edmonton's been going, season five, six, and seven, we've skipped. Uh, we Edmonton missed the playoffs in all of them. <laughs> After winning the division that one year and getting to the second round of the playoffs, uh, Edmonton actually missed the playoffs three years in a row. And first pick, actually, in Season 5 went to Edmonton. We got the first pick again. I don't remember who we picked. Uh, as far as cup champions, uh, was Toronto, San Jose, and Philly. So Toronto's actually won three straight cups in this simulation. And we'll just check, take a look at his, uh, his stats here. As he like, he had a couple hundred point seasons off the bat, but then he's been like around like a point and change a game, around 85, 90 points for a few years in a row, consistently playing games. That's not his issue. Goal scoring isn't nearly his issue. He's just clipping along, but he isn't playing like the, at 
the 116, 125 point pace that he is this year. Uh, yeah, didn't get very many 100 point seasons after this. So we'll see. I'm going to go to uh, contract signing and I'll skip to there and see where he's at. Actually, let's check. I actually even know if he, he might have signed an extension. Uh, oh, he did. Oh, <laughs> never mind. You know what? Never mind. So McDavid has signed at some point. I didn't know this. I didn't check until right now. An $11.255 million extension to stay with the Oilers for at least, you know, you know, for the foreseeable future for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably eight seasons. Seven or eight seasons. All right, so it looks like McDavid is going to be a lifetime Oiler. I don't know why, because they've missed the playoffs over and over and over and over and over again. But, uh, yeah, that's what we're looking at. Looking at here, we still got Nuge here. We still got Dry still kicking here. Pooley Arby's done done well in his career. Yamamoto came up. So yeah, all right. Well, never mind. Uh, I didn't realize he had a, an extension uh, kicked in. I don't know when he signed that. He must have signed that sometime in the last last season or two. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll skip ahead a few more years and see if Edmonton can right its playoff failures. I don't know what the hell is going on. They got the best player in the world. They should be not not be missing the playoffs. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, we're back. Uh, we're back at the beginning, the start of Season 10. Uh, we left off We we left off when? We left off at the end of Season 7. Uh, so this is where we are now. Actually, Connor McDavid last year had a, more of a Connor McDavid type year. 111 points, 51 goals. That And uh, he actually won, wins the Art Ross, the Hart, and the Ted Lindsay in 27-28. Uh, 31 years old now, getting on there. As playoff wise, we actually the Edmonton Oilers actually made the playoffs the last couple seasons. They lost in round two to San Jose, who eventually won the cup, and they lost to round one to Arizona, who eventually won the cup. So, still, still tr struggling to get out of the second round of the playoffs. But uh, this is where we're looking. Uh, played his a thousandth game already. Uh, he's rocking more than the point per game in 1,200 point range. He's only 31 years old, so we still got a lot of games and a lot of points, hopefully, left for Connor McDavid. Uh, he's still 97. I think he's still 97, 96 overall. He hasn't gone down at all. Uh, so yeah, we're still we're still trucking along, uh, and we'll skip. A, he's 96 overall. So we'll uh, we'll skip ahead to probably a couple more seasons now, and uh, yeah, we'll just kind of keep picking it on. This is what the lineups look like. I don't know if anyone's interested in you know what, what we're looking at. This was the first overall pick that one year. We we did that. He's number 98. That's fine. Pooley Harvey's doing better. Uh, Evan Bouchard had like a 90-point season. So, uh, yeah. Otherwise, otherwise we're clipping along. Dry Seidel and Pooley Harvey are our line mates. And, yeah. We'll see at the end of, let's say, the end of Season 12. Okay, we are here at the start of Season 12 now. Uh, as you can see, Connor McDavid is actually having some really good personal success. Uh, three straight years, 110 points or above, 50 goals or more, all 82 games played. He actually won the Art Ross, Hart, and Ted Lindsay three years in a row now. Uh, but the team success has not been there. Um, Last two seasons, uh, season 10 ended with a round one loss to Arizona with the Nashville Predators winning the Stanley Cup. <clears throat> and season 11 ended with a round two loss to LA after, uh, and then LA eventually winning the Cup. Last season, the Oilers actually won the President's Trophy. So <laughs> best team, first time they've won, uh, won that during this sim. Connor McDavid is now 33 years old. So, uh, when does this actually, when does his contract end? Because it must be a couple seasons from now. But he, he's getting there, man. I mean, he's run, they're running out of time to win a cup with, with McDavid. 11.255 for, oh wow, the next. Okay, we're, we're fine, actually. I miscounted. One, two, three, four. Four years. So, he's going to be 37 when his contract is over. So he like they're running out of time here. They gotta start. They gotta start, you know, winning some winning some rounds. Uh, but yeah, that's where we are right now. Uh, season 12 is about to begin. 
hopefully you guys are enjoying this career sim if you are leave a like on the video down below it really helps out the channel and uh, yeah i'll see you in uh, a couple more seasons maybe we'll go to season 15 or again if the oilers win the cup we'll stop there and we'll we'll talk about it yeah yeah without further ado i'll see you then okay we're at the start of season 15 now Connor mcdavid is still plugging along i don't think he's gotten under 80 points this whole time or under a point per game other than his rookie year which we didn't sim um so yeah he's at 713 goals 993 assists so really close there and 1706 points at his age 36 season he uh other news he signed a one-year 10.945 million dollar extension after this year so we have two more seasons under contract for sure so it did take him to at least 38 uh, i don't think dry sidles on the team anymore he must have left uh be a free agency i believe i think he's i've seen him on the retirement screen yet uh Edmonton Oilers news, we have missed the playoffs two years in a row. So we're still struggling to consistently make the playoffs. Uh, the whole time, the Edmonton Oilers haven't gotten out of the second round. Um, yeah, I mean, the one time, so we lost to LA twice in a row in the second round, and twice in a row the LA Kings went on to win a cup. So I think that's five or six times the team that's beaten the Edmonton Oilers in this sim has gone on to win the cup I don't know if that's because if that has something to do with the sim or if that's just pure luck I have no idea uh, I'm curious if that's somewhere in the you know the the coding in the game or something that they have a, you know they're stronger out of that series or something but I don't know it's it's a pattern I keep seeing throughout these sims Anyway, we'll keep going. Connor McDade is now a 92 overall, so he has gone down a little bit, but he's 36, and he's still, you know, he's still chugging along. And we'll, uh, this is the team now. It's basically Connor McDavid. That's the only one that's left. This is our first overall pick from a few years, a few years ago. It's basically just McDavid. Everyone else is gone. Defense are gone. Goalies are gone. Sammy Niku is there, right? I don't even know if he was an Oiler before. But that's it. Um, season 15 starts now. We'll go to... We're going to have to start watching uh, till when he retires. Um, I'll try to time that properly. Um, and yeah, we'll hopefully... We'll go two seasons from now. We'll go to the start of his... Uh, yeah, so the start of season 17. So when he'll have to sign another contract to see where he is. We'll play out the remaining contract years. And we'll see. Uh, yeah. And uh, hopefully I'll see you then. All right. Who'd have thought we'd have made it here so fast? Connor McDavid has retired at the age of 37. Didn't actually play in the season where he signed that extension for. So he signed an extension and didn't play that season. Decided, you know what? We're done. I'll retire. After another round one loss to Winnipeg, where Winnipeg eventually won the Stanley Cup, like... I said before they always seem to do that in this game I don't know why uh, we, he said uh, he said he was done fifth 1511 games played 7003 or sorry 7,000 ho 739 goals 1043 assists for 1782 points games played puts him 22nd all-time fifth in goals 11th in assists and sixth in points uh, if you know on today's numbers not including everybody else's stats from from this game six art ross trophies five hearts five ted Lindsay's, but zero cups Connor mcdavid unable to win a cup in edmonton after spending his entire career there and we'll show you his last season finally dropped under a point per game sorry to cut you off there past ryan but it's uh, it's me it's future ryan i'm just going through uh, editing this video and i forgot to point out uh the edmonton oilers career statistics uh all time not only just uh you know the through all the nhl but team stats as well and actually I, i've noticed that Connor mcdavid in the sim actually didn't beat wayne gretzky's assist record with the edmonton oilers gretzky had 1086 assists uh, McDavid had 1,043. The thing with that is Gretzky only played 696 games as an Edmonton Oiler. 
and that's just it just shows you how absolutely sick Gretz was uh, as an Oiler and in the 80s and how how much he scored. Uh, beat uh, McDavid in the sim beat him in, in goals and points, but didn't didn't take him over in assists. He played one more season, I bet you he would have. But uh, I just wanted to point that out because that's absolutely crazy to me. All right, I'll th I'll move it back to 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 pass Ryan there. 76 points, and I guess he's at that there. He's like I'm done. So yeah, he played 82 games in a row for a while. A lot of full seasons, not a lot of injury problems. 739 goals is not what you'd think Connor McDavid would end this sim with. Or sorry, end his real life career with, but huge, huge numbers. And uh, yeah, first ballot Hall of Famer for sure. Just to go over the cups, because I thought it was funny, the, the teams that were there. So from starting, we had... Philly, Tampa, Toronto, 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 San Jose, Philly, San Jose, Arizona, Nashville, LA, LA, Carolina, Washington, uh, Winnipeg. So. I think seven times we had a guy or a team beat us in the first or second round and then go on to win the cup it happened a lot it happened a lot so yeah that's it for this career sim uh took me a long time i've been sitting here for a while but we're finally here 37 was a little younger than i thought he'd play to uh, given his speed athleticism in this game i uh, i thought maybe he'd get to 40 39 maybe Thought he had a couple more seasons to try to give it a run at the cup i thought he'd play out his contract at least and then see but nope he, he ends it here so yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like on the bottom of the video and comment down below who you think we should do a career sim for. Uh, I'm thinking of a few guys you want to do, but let me know what you think. And subscribe to the channel, please, if you uh, if you want to see more videos like this. So let us know that you like this video. Subscribe to the channel, and yeah, and all as always, uh, we won't always have Pokemon on this channel, but it'll always be dope. Peace.